Okay, this is Dr. Mitchell again, and we're going to walk through how to do a Kruskal Wallace test in JASP. Uh, now, if you recall, uh, with Kruskal Wallace, we're looking at um, a unique type of data here, right? This is data that's not interval or ratio data, and so this is what we call categorical data. And so let me kind of show us our data set we have here. Uh, so this is just an Excel file with our information. Basically, what we're going to use here is we have four groups, and these are people who have different types of cancer diagnoses. And so we have some subjects who have breast cancer, some have lung cancer, some skin cancer, some prostate cancer. Uh, so obviously, uh, for this study, you can't have both. Right? And so uh, a subject is in one of one and only one of these four groups. Uh, and so the scores here, we actually, we're going to call these fatigue index scores. This is just a score on a scale of 1 to 10 of how fatigued the subject feels, we'll just say, on a certain day. And so obviously there's a different score for each person in each cancer group. And so because this data, uh, as we'll see, is not normally distributed, uh, this is a categorical variable, uh, we are going to need to do a something different than just a typical one-way ANOVA. And so we need to do the non-parametric version of that, which is the Kruskal Wallace test. So in order to do that, we need to reformat this. Uh, again, if you recall, um, in JASP, we need to make sure that uh, subjects each have their own row. Uh, well, the way this is formatted here, uh, this is not a good way to do that. And so we're going to reformat this so it looks like this. Uh, so we have our variables in columns and our subjects in rows. So each row is a subject and each column is a variable. So our column A, that's their score on this, this fatigue index. And column B is going to be their cancer diagnosis, breast cancer, lung cancer, skin cancer, prostate cancer. Okay, so once we have that, we can go in the JASP and we can open up and find our CSV file. Uh, and as we will see right here, there it is, pops up just like it looks in our Excel file. Now, at this point, we're going to pretty much do what we did with a one-way ANOVA. Um, there's, this is non-parametric, so there's one little subtle difference, but everything's pretty much the same. So we're going to go to classical ANOVA, uh, and we, again, are going to treat this just like a regular ANOVA. Our dependent variable is our score, our FSI score, right? Our fixed factor, or you know, the one that has different groups, that's going to be our cancer group. And already, in about a second, it's going to spit out our p-value. Now, in most circumstances, we would be fine with this. And we could do a post hoc test to discern this. But again, this is non-parametric data. So we're going to have to go a slightly different route here. Um, and so we're going to go all the way down. And if you notice, all the way down here, uh, there is a uh, little tab there that says non-parametrics, and this is where it's going to allow us to do this. And it gives me one option, a Kruskal Wallace test. And so basically what it's asking is, okay, great, what variable do you want to do this to test in? Well, I only have one I'm interested in, that's cancer. So we're going to do that, and immediately it gives me a p-value. Right? Now, this is still significant. p is less than 0.05. Here it's 0.014, but you can tell it's definitely a different p-value than what we saw differently before. Uh, now, we still, though, have the same issue we have with an ANOVA. We don't know where this difference is, and so we are going to need to uh, do some post hoc tests in order to do that. Uh, so we can go to our post hoc tests. Uh, we can go up here to our cancer. We can throw that in. Um, now, typically when we do, and let me move this up here, typically when we do a non-parametric test, um, we use something like a done correction, um, and that allows us to make comparisons during do it with non-parametric data. Uh, so we're going to use a done. There's other ones you could use, but a done is a common one. As you can see, it's now going to give us comparisons between each group: breast cancer versus lung cancer, breast versus prostate, so on and so forth. Right? And as we can see, it's going to adjust this p-value. Uh, and I have a few things that are significant here, um, and, and I can flag these just so I can see them more clearly. Okay. Uh, but as we can see, we have breast versus lung cancer and breast cancer versus prostate cancer are significantly different from each other. Okay. Um, now, 
very, very similar to what we've done previously with one new one way nova. In fact, the only difference is, is we're doing a non-parametric test. Every other step is exactly the same. Uh, we can do our descriptive plots just like we did previously. Nothing new there. Uh, we can throw cancer on the horizontal axis, and that will give us our table. We can do some um, some error bars. Uh, now, as I mentioned before, obviously, you know these are um, uh, going to be line graphs. May not be the best choice you want, which is fair. Um, we can also do some other ones. There are what are called rain cloud plots. Um, these kind of give us an idea of how the data are distributed. Um, and by the way, we can also make these tables and, or graphs a little bit wider, so they're a little more viewable. Uh, there are times when it's helpful to see all the data points that, to, to be able to figure that out. Uh, we can alter the display of that as well. And really what this is, is the distribution of the data. And if you kind of notice these curves that go along with it, these are distribution curves, right? And we can see if there's data that are not normally distributed and breast cancer kind of looks like it has some kurtosis there, um, which, which is important. And so, again, a lot of the same, nearly the same things we do with a one-way uh, ANOVA we're going to do here with a Cresco Wallace test. So, uh, hope that helps and look forward to seeing you on the next video.